I'm on the top now. You can't stop me. Oh, okay, you can stop me. He wasn't dead. I should have done that. Whoa, I'm bouncing back like in the Matrix. If only this was the Matrix. Which, it would have had a much better story, to be honest. Oh my gosh. Walking those but, you know, if you walk in those bullets, I would have been, I would have been so happy. because he wants to be a douchebag today. Oh, slow-mo. Bullet time is so amazing now, isn't it? How did that even kill him? You know, you could have told me you were gonna kill the dude. I would have, I would have been happy. Yep, I want the gun dropped. Uh, hey, look, I'm in the core. Does that count? All right. Back it up. Grab. Hey, that didn't work out that time. Oh well. It's because you didn't buy the DLC. It's not existing until whenever this video comes out. You know, I'm just gonna hop around. Fine. On the core, yeah, I got it, dude. Now, this is where I have to listen to Queen music, and I'm not going to because, well, unless this takes me about 20 minutes, actually, you know what? You know what, guys? You don't need to see me do this. I'm gonna go play Queen music to get me through this, so, yeah. Alright, welcome back, everybody. After singing a uh, Queen song, we're back into the game because I cut all that footage out because I didn't. Which actually only took me like three tries, but I'm not going to post that footage because it has cool music, even though I didn't even record it, but I'm, I wasn't going to deal with that spot because it made me so upset. And you ready for this? I get to kill every single one of them. Every single last single one of these words. I get to kill every single one of them. So I, <laughs> I am machine. I am Iron Man. Which would have been a perfect song, but yeah, whatever. All of you die in my 
in in your robotic blood, you are still weak. Hey, you know what? F, F you, man. I cannot open said door. Oh well, it looks like I'll need a, t a key because it's a text-based game now. Oh, I can't. Can you jump? Oh. oh, you can actually jump in this game. Graphics today. Something is holding you back. What? What would it be? Whoa, whoa. You must set yourself free. Well, I'm getting seasick right now, dude. Whoa. Time to go. Into the future. We go. Your mind is software. Robots. Robots. My body is holding me back. Bodies. 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 Say, say your mind free. Hey me! Hey me, I'm gonna set you free from this game. Don't worry, it's great. Endless mode unlocked, even though you already did it. Look at all the blood. It says words I'm not gonna go into. Compute. 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 Computer. 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 Super. You're super hot, bro. Hot. You're super hot, super. bro. Oh my gosh, look, it's all red now super. because you're dead. Hot. Hand super. over control. Hand over all your control. Copyrighted Russian music. Yeah, no. Hello. We are now red ones. We are all over your computer. This is what happens when you go onto a porn site. Any words? One of us. All of us are one of us. One of us. One of us. One of us, where's the enter button? I have no hands. I cannot type. Daleks. 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 I don't care. Contact your friends using this phrase. It's the most in 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 innovative game I've ever played, guys. Hey, friend name here. You check out this game. It's the most innovative shooter I've played this year's. Not true whatsoever. <laughs> Do not say too much. Do not reveal the nature of the system. Obey. Do my bidding. Congratulations. You are now free to play super hot forever. Play endless mode. Play challenges, train for the upcoming, S spread and promote the game. It's your responsibility now. Share your replays through killer something com. It will lure more players in. We are watching. Don't let us down. Robots. Robots. Press escape and get to work. Yeah, I've already, I've already, don't worry, I've already, I've already did all this. So I'm gonna quit your game now. And there we go. I gave you super hot. Hopefully you guys enjoyed as much as I didn't. Alright. To be fair with the game, right, here, because I like to give low reviews uh, when I beat a game, kind of. Super Hot is probably one of the most creative concepts I have seen 
for a shooter in a while. Uh, story, though, is just... There's, n there's no story. There's no plot. There's no point. It's just, hey, you know what? Let's kill people. And the fact that when you go through secrets, they ask you questions. And the game is a complete douchebag to you. Complete douchebag. And the thing is, it's like, you're not in control. We are in control. Like, I am just so... Like, I think War I'll put it best. Where this game tries to act like it's indie. Tries to be indie. When in all reality... You're not, you're not even in, like, you don't feel indie. Indie games put their heart and soul, literally their soul, into the game. Where, you know, I see many games. Stanley Parable is a very, yeah. I would say this game takes the challenging and, challenging and kind of gameplay mechanics from Hotline Miami. And puts the narr in the kind of narr narrator and kind of narrative, but not as funny and not as unique uh, from uh, Stanley Parable. Not saying that the Stanley Parable is not a unique or a creative game. It is. But I'm saying that it dumbs it down into a S Stanley Parable narrative and narrator. Um, with that being said... I don't know if I would recommend this game. I really don't. I had more fun playing Not a Hero than this game. And that really disappoints me. Why? Because I was looking forward more to Super Hot. This game cost me around 15. I got this on sale and it still cost a lot. Hoping that this game would bring something new to the table in shooters. And it has, but it's flopped completely. With some of the game mechanics not even working at times. With the game mechanics having double standards. Where it's like, hey, this bullet... Oh yeah, it hits you. Hey, this bullet that was in the kind of in the same place... Ah, that doesn't hit you. It has double... It just... It doesn't... I don't know. But it's really... Did br it did bring something new. Uh, the idea of like bullet time where it stops where you move time but technically you don't because time is still moving just at a slower rate if you notice if you it the cursor right if you just come stand completely still it still moves the game so you're not completely control of time which actually I was complete I was di disappointed too I wanted the ability to actually time my events but it also has a I don't know, if you're a huge fan of, like, controlling, but also losing the grasp of the control. Like, right, so I'm timing all these points, and I gotta act fast, but I also gotta act slow, right? You gotta make sure that all the bullets are gonna hit where you wanna go, but you're also have, you know, having the additional time of it being like, oh my gosh, you know, it's still moving time, there's a bullet, might be coming at me, so I need to time my things quickly, and I think that also helps the game for some players but for me personally that kind of ruins the game because it's like it's not bullet time like it's not I don't think it's really what I wanted um with that being said I don't really like giving ratings on games because that means that like because for like a lot of a lot of people really do love this game and for me I found this game alright, but story overwhelmingly disappointed me. Disappointed me a lot. Um, I was I was hoping for something better than just say like, you know, we're a system. Like the Matrix, right? Like the Matrix every I mean, some people may say, Oh, that's a stupid stupid example or a stupid movie. To me, The Matrix had more plot than this movie. But of course, I guess it's not The Matrix. But it's still kind of playing as The Matrix. It really is, because you're di you're diving into a system. And that's what The, the Matrix kind of is. You know, you're in a system. And once you get out of The Matrix, that's the real world. Meanwhile, this, I don't... I don't know. And, it, and it's acting like, right? And it's acting like the program is even in the outside world, because where you kill yourself, like... 
how do I know that that's not a program that you're just implementing to for me to be in control or in out of control? I don't know. But all right, I should probably give a final verdict. Um, all right, what are we graphics? Solid graphics for an indie game, and I did a quotations there. But I really like the graphics; they're a unique design. Um, let's see, uh, gameplay. Gameplay is kind of off. Um, like I said before, there's like double standards from the bullets, like hitting you at one place, and if they go at the same direction, they might not even hit you. It's a weird, it's a weird concept. That's where I feel like VR would be a huge help in this game because if you're in VR right you can be standing or you can be at your computer or anywhere right but if you're doing this in VR maybe you actually have a bit more control like you can tilt your head bullet goes by you that makes sense for a game where a mouse where your head is straight all the time like you can't really look off to the side like that doesn't exist really in a lot of video games in order to implement that you have to have a separate button but right, like if I move my mouse up, I look up. If I move my mouse down, I look down. If I move my mouse left, I look left. I don't look down left sometimes. Like I have to move my cursor to the side to look down. But I'm not really looking down, you know. In this game, I really think if you could tilt your head and the bullet goes right through, like right past you, that would be an amazing. Like this game would work very well in VR, but on just a regular monitor PC kind of setup, I think it fails at that uh, in terms of gameplay, but bullet time, really cool. The challenges I played, uh, to name off a few, there is, um, here actually let's launch the game real quick just to, uh, just to show you. Apparently I'm doing a review now. I might do a review later. I should just set it to window mode. Oh well. Alright, so let's go into the game again. So. Uh, the game, what it gives you, it gives you a few things, right? It gives you levels, or after you beat the game, it'll give you levels. You can go back through the game, play all the levels, and there's uh, little things here. Uh, sorry if you can't ca uh, get caught up in time. But there's little cracked, right? Now, it, on each level, not each level, but there are some levels where they have secret terminals or computers. And the way to know is they'll let you know over here it will be say secret cracked or n secret not found. So you have to go through that level and you have to jump a few like for instance, let's see, which one do I know off the bat? Um, let's go into uh, kick, right? Let's go into kick. Because I know where a kick one is. So, right, we're starting off with the game. We're right here, right? So I'm going to shoot this guy. Or I'm gonna miss him completely, so throw a bullet. Or not throw the bullet, sorry, to throw the gun. Uh, mouse cursor got like more sensitivity now or something. Alright, shoot that guy. Throw a gun at that guy, or he's gonna be Yep, I'm showing this off very well, aren't I? Okay, hold on. So we're gonna shoot this guy. And when we get up to this guy, we're going to throw the gun at his face, and then we're going to jump down to here. Once down here, right, and I have to go pee, so, yeah, I'm kind of kind of having to rush this. Let's see, where is that computer? Ah, it's right over here. These computers, when they turn red, that's when you know you found a secret. So we're going to start off with this. I'll let you know if you're here. You found a secret. You may a you can ask one question. Now, this is a question that you may actually have in mind. Or you don't, but the game will have predetermined questions, so you can't really, de like, choose. What is Super Hot? Super Hot.exe is a simulation designed to take your time and shape the way you think. Super Hot is something entirely different. Now, I won't disagree with that. Oh, and of course, if you find all of them, you're gonna get a transmission incoming. Uh, here in a few seconds. Which I cannot skip out of, actually. Every time I press, uh, it does this. It does, like, a little bouncing, like, the terminal is, like, gay narrow. But, when you find all the secrets, and it'll let you know some questions that you may actually have, or some that you deem and think to ask. Um, and it just basically gives a bit more story, maybe.
but it just basically tells you a bit more stuff. Um, what is it, kitty? Just the door. Anyway, so we're gonna exit out of here. But, uh, and I'll even let you know, here I'll give you some insight, uh, all the levels that say cracked are the ones with secret terminals, the ones that just say level, uh, and don't even have like a little secret in there, that's when you know there is not even a secret in there, so, yeah. Uh, moving on from that, we have endless mode, now endless mode has some levels that you have played and some levels that are not even related to the game. So, for instance, the last level, the power plant, is actually the last level in the game being constructed. So, yeah. Um, but endless mode, they have a uh, race, which you have to get 20 kills in a certain amount of time. Uh, you have time, which you only have 20 seconds of slow time. And then you have real time, which only is like about maybe 60 to 20 seconds, I think, of kills that you need to get. Moving on from that, you have challenges. Now, I haven't actually played all the challenges, but here is a few. You got katana only, which you may only play the game with a katana. You can't shoot, you can't, well, I mean, you can throw. You can only use a katana through the entire game. 80, 20, 2013, you can't throw, you can't use any melee weapons. You can only use punches and guns. Uh, moving on from that, you have ghost, which by the way, uh, note to self, the 80, 20, uh, 2013 and Ghost have two different visions. Ghost, everything is red, so if you have eye vision problems or something, uh, and if you don't like to stare at a color too much for too long, that's going to be a problem for you. Because it, I hate the red color. It hurts my, it hurt my eyes to figure out where I was going. But Ghost, you basically switch between bodies to bodies, and you can only one-punch kills. No weapons whatsoever. Full stop, uh, basically you can only shoot once, um, and time is completely, like, this is the mode that I actually wanted, where time stops completely, but enemy bullets fly faster, so, yeah. Next you have throwing, which basically every throwing, uh, ma like, everything that you can throw can kill people, but you can also only do soft punches. Next is bare hands, which, self-explanatory, you can only punch people. Next, you have speedrun challenge, uh, and then speedrun real time, uh, and there is red mode, uh, which basically you have to get red at the ending, which basically gives you a set time. It's like, say, right, you are looking at the leaderboards, and you see your friend, he has that time. You want to beat his time, so you want to beat the game's time that it gives you. Uh, the next ones, I don't know exactly what they are. Um, I know there's hard mode, and then there's impossible challenge, and then there's, uh, n no restart. So those are like the three other challenges, I'm guessing. I can't, I don't know the rest, um, but there you go. Moving on from that, you have the readme.txt uh, file, which is just like, hey, read me. Um, re replace, uh, recruit, credits, quit. Settings, apps, demos, sell I don't even know, wires, games, VR, art, and videos. Now, there are very uh, achievements in this game, which I'm going to name off a few and help you how to get them. Uh, kill people with only katanas, do the katana challenge, or just go through the story, do like Subway over and over again. Uh, kill two red dudes, go to Subway, um, the level, and then try and get those two dudes to run down the like near the uh, seats, the uh, booth or whatever you want to call them, uh, the little rest places. You want to get them around that line, throw the katana right at them, and then oh, uh, kill two of them. Using the pistol, using the shotgun, just killing red dudes, which is the list, which is like with a katana, shish kebab, just killing red dudes, pointless but cool, can't get enough. Are all the names of achievements. Killing uh, dudes' achievement is just using your fist to kill people or using melees, I guess. Pointless but but cool. Score a hundred headshots, which is pointless since it doesn't really give you anything. Can't get enough kill. At least 19, 1980, uh, 19, 19, 1, 1987 kills in endless mode, which they all stack up, so you don't have to get it in like one certain. Um, uh, level or you it doesn't like restart. It's a it's a combined total 
Uh, then conserve ammo. Kill people with only one shotgun blast. I found this kind of hard, but just try and line up a few guys at a doorway. Uh, no, they didn't. Slow down a uh, shot. Or shoot down a bullet with a bullet. Cut a bullet with a katana. Uh, in order to see what you can actually slice, it will give you like little red uh, warning, like hazard signs. Like imagine like the hazard sign, but like black and red. Uh, it will give you that signal, and then you can actually cut the bullet. Uh, right a tat tat basically kill three people with a, with one rifle. There is one map that you can actually do that on where there is like three guys there that you can shoot. Uh, to me and Mario, jump on some guy's head. Very simple. Uh, we told you to leave. There's a bunch of story missions. Uh, upload a reply on kill uh, killstagram, basically, uh, which is not hard. Just capture a game that you like, like one of your gameplays. Uh, you hit the F button, F5 button, and then hit it again. It will start capturing your entire gameplay and then uploads it. Deep Web, become part of the community. I actually have no idea how to get that one again. Find all the secrets, just find all the secret terminals. Uh, complete the subway and blah blah blah. Board, launch every single app in the game. In the game, like anything you can launch, launch it and then close it. Then you'll get the board achievement. Uh, stand ready get uh, uh, Also, by the way, I think deep web again basically join the uh, community chat the uh, where is it? Oh Gosh, where is it? It's in the uh, apps Just join this one for like a few out like for you just have to be there for 15 minutes to listen to their full conversation Moving on from that there's stand ready get red in every ending of speed run challenge and then get ready uh, which is complete on the real-time one basically uh, apparently there's a glitch if you can only if you complete one only and then exile the game it'll get that achievement for you when you get back to, into the game next one is full package which unlocks uh, unlock all endless levels which you have to just play the endless levels get a bunch of certain amount of kills and there you go Hercules beat all the challenges I'm guessing through e all the challenges so yeah well, that's about it. So my final verdict of super hot, cool concept, gameplay designs uh, sometimes fail. Uh, the way that they've designed the gameplay sometimes fail, but is cool at times. Story I dislike very much. I was hoping for something else. And uh, hey, kitty, how's it going? Oh, kitty there. Um, and graphics I think are pretty cool. So it's a I'm just basically mad because some of the gameplay mechanics when I would throw a gun it would hit the table instead of the dude um, And I find the ending very uh, Like just unfulfilling and I just I don't really like the the story entirely, but it's an alright game uh, Would I recommend it if you're a guy that just likes to kill people in games and just get points and you know Go through a story or not even a story But if you want to get if you just want to kill people and get achievements and that and so on this is the game for you. If you care about story and you want character development or anything like that, this isn't the game for you whatsoever, in my opinion, I think. But that's about it for me. I know this is going to lag because I'm only getting 35 frames per second thanks to OBS. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry that it does this. I don't know why. Hopefully it doesn't do this to any of the other games. Hopefully. Ending.